All right, team, it's Mrs. Johnson here. Today's lesson is unit one, day one. We're gonna talk first of all about PEMDAS. So I've, you've heard of order of operations before. It is the order in which you are supposed to attack problems that look like this. So you remember the acronym PEMDAS, um, and I have it kind of broken down here into what everything stands for. The P stands for parentheses, et cetera. So if you need to pause the video real quick to get this stuff copied down, go ahead and do that. Um, I remembered it when I was taught what order of operations was as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, P-E-M-D-A-S. Um, a couple important things you need to know is that MD, multiply and divide, you do that left and right. So you can divide before multiply. You just go left to right doing all the multiplication and division in a row. Same thing for add and subtract. So let me just go through a couple examples um, so that I can kind of show you how this works. Um, first thing I'm going to do, PEMDAS parentheses first. So I see some parentheses right here. 3 plus 7 is 10. I'm going to knock that out and I'm going to keep everything else the exact same in the problem. Next thing after I've done the P is E, which is exponents, and I see an exponent right here. 5 squared is 25. And next thing in PEMDAS is multiply and divide, but I do not have anything to multiply and divide here, so I'm going to skip that step. The next thing is add and subtract left to right, so I'm just going to do 25 minus 10. There's nothing to add, so I'm just going right to subtraction. 25 minus 10 is 15. That is my final answer. Let's try another one. I'm going to bounce around. First thing I'm going to do is the parentheses. There's nothing to do within this parentheses. It's just negative 2. I don't have to add or subtract anything, so I'm going to skip that step. Next thing is exponents. Well, I see an exponent right here. Negative 2 to the third means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which happens to be negative 8. And I'm just going to recopy everything else in the problem. So minus 9 squared plus 12. And so what that means is, next thing I have to do is exponents. Um, I have another exponent to do here, so negative 9 squared. Now there's a big difference between, see the parentheses here, negative 2 to the third. That means the negative is being multiplied all three times. This minus sign just happens to stay right there. And I'm only going to deal with the 9 squared, which is 81. So that minus sign is going to stay in my problem because it's not being squared. It's only the 9 that's being squared. A little bit tricky, and I'm going to copy everything else in the problem. Now I don't have any multiply and divide to do, so I'm going to go right to add and subtract. And I'm just going to go left to right, negative 8 minus 81 plus 12. You can use a calculator. You can kind of go left to right if you need to. Negative 8 minus 81 is negative 89 plus 12. I just combined those two things first. And when I combine those all together, I get negative 77. There's my next answer. Be very careful on the difference between uh, parentheses when the negative is inside the parentheses and it has an exponent to it versus this negative sign does not include that exponent. It's just on the 9. Um, let me do number 5 here. So first thing I'm going to do is parentheses. And I see parentheses right here. Negative or 11 minus 17 is negative 6. So I'm just dealing with that parentheses and I'm going to keep everything else the same. Now I have two different places to do an exponent. So remember, this negative sign is not being squared, so it's just going to stay in my problem. But I'm going to do 4 squared, which is 16. And this negative sign is being squared. So this means negative 6 times negative 6, which is 36. It's a positive number. This negative sign stays. But when I do negative 6 times negative 6, that is positive 36. Again, no multiplication or division to do. P-E-M-D, the next thing is A-S. So I'm going to do negative 16 minus 36, which gives me negative 52. Final answer. That is how we are going to attack some of those um, order of operations questions, you guys. I'm going to take one more, number 7. Um, I do not have anything to do within any parentheses. This 4 is by itself. This 1 is by itself. But 4 squared, I'm going to go right into exponents. There is nothing to do within the parentheses. Exponents, I can do 4 squared. And 4 squared is 16. I'm going to copy everything else. After exponents is multiply and divide. And so I do have one thing that I can multiply right here. I can do 9 times 1 or negative 9 times 1. I'm going to keep my 16 the same. 
negative 9 times 1 is just negative 9, and then I still have this plus 6. And now I'm going to add and subtract left to right. When I do that, I'm going to take 16 minus 9, which is 7, plus 6, which is 13. Okay. Um, and that's how we're going to attack those order of operations questions. I will leave the rest to kind of work on in groups in class. Now let's talk about absolute value. Um, you've probably seen absolute value before in Algebra 1, but maybe it's been a long time and you forgot some stuff about it. But absolute value means the distance, which means number of spots away from zero. Fun fact, always a positive number. Again, if you're copying this down feverishly, just pause the video. Um, I want to give you a couple examples here. So the absolute value of 2, that means how many spots away from 0 is 2. It's 2 spots. If we want to look at um, the absolute value of negative 3, that means how many spots away from 0, 1, 2, 3, is negative 3. Look at those. They're both positive numbers. It's just counting spaces. So let's do a couple examples that look like that. I'm going to get into example number 13. So first thing I'm going to do is parentheses. I do not have any parentheses to deal with. There's just a 5 here, nothing to do inside there. Next thing I'm going to do is exponents, which I can do an exponent right here. That's going to make this 9. I'm going to keep everything else the same, but 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 5 keeping everything else exactly the same. Multiply and divide. So I can multiply here. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. I'm going to keep everything else the exact same. Again, I said negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, so there it is. Um, you can also do 4 times 5, which is 20, and just keep this negative sign right there. Um, now I've got to add and subtract. So I'm going to keep this the same. But what I need to do is take the 9 minus 20, and that gives me negative 11. Now let's think about this for a second. This negative sign out front is going to stay, but what is the absolute value of negative 11? How many spaces away from 0 is negative 11? 11. I just want you to keep in mind that this negative sign is this negative sign. That makes our final answer a negative number, having a negative number, a negative sign in front of the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 11 is 11, but this minus sign stays here. So kind of like a double negative situation. Let's talk about this one, example number 15. 10 plus negative 11. So the absolute value of negative 11 is 11. That means how many spaces away from 0 is negative 11. So think about that number line. You're counting 11 spaces to the left. Keep everything else the same. Now all I have to do is add and subtract, which gives me 21. Let's talk a little bit about evaluating expressions, and then I'll be done. Um, let's talk about um, substituting in negative 5 for x. And yeah, there are multiple x's here, so I'm going to substitute it everywhere. So I'm just going to put parentheses wherever I see an x. And inside there, I'm going to put negative 5. So I'm going to put the negative 5 in here and here. That's kind of step one. It's just substituting. Yeah, it looks a little crazy with all of the um, parentheses, but remember, first thing I'm going to do is parentheses with order of operations. There's nothing to do inside the parentheses here. It's just one single number, so I'm going to go right to exponents. There was nothing to do within the parentheses, so now I'm doing exponents. Negative 5, this negative sign is being squared. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Minus 4 negative 5 plus 7. Next thing to do is multiply and divide. So I can multiply and divide these two numbers together. So I have a negative 4 times a negative 5, which gives me a positive 20. And I'm going to keep the positive 7 here, and I'm going to keep the 25. I'm going to add and subtract now. Left to right, I'm going to take 25 plus 20 plus 7, which gives me... 52. Let's do one more and we'll be done, you guys. I'm going to take this negative 9, plug it in here and here, and I'm going to do a bunch of parentheses. So wherever there was an x, I'm just leaving a parentheses. And inside that parentheses, I'm going to plug in that negative 9. Okay, so negative 9 goes here and negative 9 goes here. 
So first thing I'm going to do is expo or parentheses again, PEMDAS, order of operations, start with parentheses. The parentheses here, there's nothing to do inside here or inside here. It's just one single number. So I'm going to go right to exponents. And so I'm going to keep this negative sign right there. That one stays. But did you know when I square negative 9, that negative sign gets squared. Negative 9 times negative 9 is 81. Again, this negative sign stays there. Um, no more exponents to do, so I'm going to keep everything else the same. Now let's do multiply and divide. And there is one thing that I can multiply here, 2 times negative 9. Again, that's a positive 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. I'm going to keep everything else the same. And now I just have to add and subtract left to right. When I do that, I'm doing negative 81 minus 18 plus 5, and I end up with negative 94. That's all for right now, you guys. Let's do some more in class. Thanks for listening.